Robotic surgery is a revolutionary development in the field of surgery. It has changed the way the surgery is approached by the surgeons and the way we do it. Conventionally, the surgery has been done by surgeons using their hands and by seeing directly on the patient's tissues with the help of our eyes. So we see with our eyes and operate with our hands, very simple, there is no technology in between. Now this system which had existed for centuries changed drastically in late 80s when laparoscopic surgery or keyhole surgery came into being where instead of putting our hands on the tissues, we started putting some tubes through which special instruments will go inside. There will be a telescope which will go inside and telescope will give an image of the inside on a TV monitor and instead of seeing patient, we look at the TV monitor and carry out the operation. So instead of hands, we had instruments and instead of seeing directly on the patient tissue with our eyes, we were seeing on the TV monitor. So this reduced the amount of cut that we have to give. So instead of big cuts, we were able to do the procedures with small cuts. Now this was a big revolution in surgery. It was also called the third revolution in surgery, which was a very patient friendly development. While it had lot of pluses, there were some minuses also. And the biggest minus was that when we see with our eyes, we have three dimensional vision. And when we feel the tissues with our hand, it's a very versatile instrument. Hand is the most versatile instrument which Gauze has made. And we can do a lot of complex maneuvers with our hands. So we were able to do the complex maneuvers and we were seeing three dimensional with our eyes. In laparoscopic surgery, instead of eyes, we were looking at the monitor. Now monitor has only length and breadth, it has no depth. So we lost the depth dimension and that created lot of problems for us. Of course, we tried to overcome it by our experience, but despite all the experience, it was a handicap. Secondly, the instruments were like straight pencil. So you could put the instrument in and out you could move it left, right, up, down, but there was no wrist-like function. The human hand is versatile because fingers can move, the wrist can move, the hand can move in different, different directions. We have many degrees of freedom of movement in our hand, which was missing in the laparoscopic instruments. So the amount of work and fine movements that we could do was very limited. Now these two restrictions were a big handicap as far as laparoscopic surgery was concerned. So what was needed was give us the 3D back, give us the versatility of the instruments back. And that's exactly what la robotic surgery provided. From 2D vision, it took us to 3D vision. In fact, it took us to HD 3D vision, which is even better than what we see with our eyes. It gave us special instruments which not only went in and out or left, right, but had almost hand-like function. We can call them miniaturized human hands. So now we put uh, in robotic surgery, we put a special telescope which gives us a 3D vision. We put these specialized instruments which have as versatile a function as human hands. And then when we do surgery, it makes us feel as if our hands are inside and we are actually sitting inside on the tissues and such a good uh, view is there. So what robotic surgery did was to maintain the pluses of laparoscopic surgery but remove the minuses of the laparoscopic surgery. So today the robotic surgery offers us all the advantages of keyhole surgery which means you make smaller cuts there is less pain, there is less blood loss, there is less chance of complications, there is shorter hospital stay, there is quicker discharge from the hospital, there is much faster return to work and much lower chance of wound infections and other complications, much less blood requirement and hence much less chance of blood 
transfusion related complications like jaundice, HIV, etc. And there is a benefit to the healthcare personnel also that we also handle much less blood. So, the chance of us getting infected is also less. So, there are lots of pluses for patients, for the healthcare system, for the healthcare personnel in the laparoscopic surgery. Robotic surgery maintains all these advantages of laparoscopic surgery, but does away with the disadvantages of the laparoscopic surgery. So, I think it is a it is a revolution in the field of surgery. It allows us to reach inaccessible areas inside the body cavities. It allows us to carry out the most complicated, most intricate of maneuvers in the depth of the body where hands also find it difficult to do those maneuvers and it gives us excellent vision of insight which is magnified, which is HD, which is 3D. So, many times we actually feel as if we are sitting inside the body cavity and feeling the tissues. Uh, many times it is said that cost is an issue, yeah definitely it is a new technology it is an upcoming technology. So, therefore, it is an expensive technology. No doubt that there is a initial installation cost of the machine, there is a recurring cost of the equipments and instruments. However, when you look at the totality of picture, you do an open surgery, the patient stays in the hospital 10 days, the patient is off work for 6 weeks, 8 weeks and is crippled for a long time because of the long cuts and associated problems. Now, contrast that with patient leaves the hospital in 48 hours, patient returns to home in couple of days and patient is able to join his duty in couple of weeks time. Now, if you take the totality of picture into consideration, I think the costs in robotic surgery work out cheaper than open surgery. Definitely, if you just look at one time operation cost alone, that figure may seem bigger, but if you look at the totality of picture, I think it is the patients who stand to benefit the most from robotic surgery.